Welcome back to Vidhammer, another Gloomhaven playthrough video coming at you. This time, Vim and Spud are going through the Crypt Basement. It's the next scenario in the retirement quest line for Spud, so one step closer to retirement on that one. I could explain a lot of stuff, but I'm just going to let this guy do it instead. For a city event, we paid a boy's fine as he was getting dragged off to the Ghost Fortress, and uh, in return we got city event 70 added to the deck. And then out on the road, some thieves tried to rob us, and we killed them. Uh, so we start with three damage apiece, but at least they won't be troubling us anymore. For short-term goals, Vim has the one where you can't loot any money or treasure tiles, and Spud has the one where you need to loot a treasure tile, so that works out. In the scenario, we start in the like center room, and there's uh, adjoining rooms on all sides. And all we have to do is survive for ten rounds. But after two rounds, the room on the left opens, four rounds, the room on the right opens, six rounds, the room on the top, and then eight rounds, the room on the bottom. And that's where the treasure chest is, is down there at the bottom. So we'll want to grab that with Spud when the time comes. Starting in the center on the first turn, I have Spud go ahead and use his big pull move to pull the living spirit in the bottom right corner into the poison trap, which at the level we're playing on causes, I believe, five damage at this point. Kills it outright so we can move and focus a little more on the ooze that's in the upper right. For Vim, I have him jump in between those two obstacles on the north side of that room, which, as it turns out, will end up being probably the most pivotal decision for me in this whole scenario. Second round, we have uh, Spud jump over, try to hit the, the Elite Viper on that side, do some poison stuff, hit him with some stun and everything. And the, as the first room opens up on that left side, and we've got some more stuff coming towards us. Spud retreats on the next turn, and Vim throws down his obstacles just south of him. So now we've got this whole barricade in the very center of that room, keeping things from coming up from the south end. And later on, as this thing pans out, it will keep things from coming down from the north side of all this stuff, which is kind of what I wanted to stave off with that whole situation. The oozes that uh, start coming out and popping out, they've already split a couple of times, but they're not moving. And as long as they stay kind of where they are, that's really not that bad of a thing. With the location that we're in, only one thing can kind of come at us per turn as, as the Vipers are, are doing their thing. We are taking a couple of shots from that living spirit from across the, the obstacles, but we're not really worried too much about it right now. We kind of retreat to the right and start working our way south as the right side room opens up and we've got more oozes. What we get, they've, they've divided so many times, we have so many oozes on the board that we're not spawning new ones at this point. So I really look at things and say, as long as we don't kill them off, uh, we don't have to worry about spawning any new ones until they all get to a point where they just explode. So I'm not even going to worry about uh, attacking them hardly at all. Over the next couple of turns, I try to figure out how I can get uh, some Viper kills for Vim. I try to go after some of the, the snake guys as they're coming down. And I'm trying to set things up to where I can push the, the living spirit, push him or pull him into one of those poison traps and kill him off. But it just doesn't quite work out. I do end up getting a, a kill on one of the vipers for them before the end of this. But uh, we, we just kind of messed around in the middle trying to do some strategic stuff, but just ended up taking some damage, just taking some significant damage. And when the room in the north end opens up, I just start running to the south, getting ready for that door to open so I can try to retreat into that room, basically. I have Spud sit on that door and go invisible uh, with the intention of long resting in the next turn, making a barricade that is at least some of his guys won't be able to get past. The downside is... Even as uh, Vim, you know, goes past and does like the poison and the stun on the big uh, elite living corpse that's in there, even with Spud barring the door and invisible, the living spirits just fly past him and ends up still causing a significant amount of damage for Vim. The big oozes explode into their big cataclysmic loss of a whole bunch of guys. Uh, Vim ends up being exhausted because he's taken so much damage 
Thankfully, we've only got, with Spud taking the long rest, we only really have one turn left after Vim is exhausted to have to worry about this. And I just have Spud, you know, uh, use his boots, fly over everybody, and grab the chest at the end. We kill very little off and loot very little money, but we do both get the short the short term goals, so we pick up the perks. Vim picked up a ooze kill out of all that, and he picked up a giant viper kill. And he still needs three more before he retires. So rather than going and doing Spud's last retirement run, I think we're going to go do one more mission first, and then we'll come back and do that one and hopefully make it to where we can get both of them retiring at the same time, which would be kind of cool. So that was it for this one, though. No, no money or anything like that. We should have had curse cards in with this, but both of them in their last perk took no, no negative scenario effects. So we didn't have to worry about that one. Probably would have been very different if, uh, if they had those curse cards in there. So another success on this one. One step closer to the retirement for Spud. He's got one specific mission left before he can retire. And uh, tune in next time and we'll see what goes on in that one.